Hey guys, here's another geometry challenge. We have a square that's a two by two square and we have four circles stuck inside of that square. And there's another square turn 45 degrees and fit inside those circles so that it touches at those four points. And we wanna know what is the area of this square. I think there's two ways to solve this. I kinda wanna show you both ways. We'll call one side of the square a length of S, S for side or square. Then we'll draw a little square here and we'll notice that this square right here cuts into exactly one fourth of that square, which means that I could probably flip it and get the same piece right up there, just like that. So this piece should equal this piece right here. If you think about how those four squares would be cut off. Both of these are exactly half of the length of S. So the two of them together should just be S. Let's look at this diagonal of the square I drew in the corner. It's gonna be comprised of S plus the diameter of one of these circles. How long is this diameter of this circle? Well, if we cut this side in half, each of these halves is equal to one. And that half is the same height as one of the diameters. So we can call this diameter one. So the diagonal of this square is equal to s plus one. But well, we can pull out of this a triangle and this green triangle here is the same thing as this green triangle here. Both of these sides are equal to one. Anytime you have a right triangle where the two legs are equal to one, the hypotenuse is always equal to square root of two. And if you want to verify it, here it is using Pythagorean theorem. So now we can plug in square root of two for the diagonal. And then we can smush this together and clean all this stuff up. Let's scoot this over and now we can solve for s. Let's subtract one from both sides and we get s equals square root of two minus one. S is the side of this square to get the area of the square that we would square s. So we're just going to square both sides of this equation. On the left hand side, that's the same thing as multiplying this binomial by itself. And we have to distribute. So we're going to do square root of 2 times square root of 2 gives us 2. Root 2 times negative 1 gives us negative root 2. And negative 1 times root 2 gives us negative root 2. And then negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And this is all still equal to s squared. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. And negative root 2 minus root 2 is minus 2 root 2. So this right here is the area of the red square. It's 3 minus 2 root 2. We can put a box around that. And let's put a box around s as well, that seemed pretty important. Get rid of all this other stuff, bring this down, and let's look at the other more formal way to solve it. We can find the centers of these three circles, connect the centers. We can see this piece right here is the same thing as the side length of S, because it's the same thing as one of the side lengths of that square. Then we look up here, both of these are the radius of this top circle, so we'll call both of those R. And same thing here, these are both the radius of this circle, so we'll call those R. And same thing here, both these are the radius of that circle, so we'll call those R. Now if we extend this radius up here, we'll notice that R plus R is the same thing as one. So we can just say 2r equals one. Now let's use Pythagorean theorem for this right triangle. We have a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a is this bottom side here, which is r plus r, but we know that r plus r is equal to one. b is this r plus r, but we know that's equal to one. Well, c is this r plus s plus r, and then r plus r is 2r, and we know that 2r is equal to one, so we can make that one. One squared plus one squared is just two, and from here we square root both sides. The root and the square cancel each other out to give us one plus s. When we subtract one from both sides, this side becomes root two minus one, and this side just becomes S. So now we solve for S and check this out. It's the same S that we got before. So since we got the same S, both methods, we know they're both going to give us the same area. So the answer to the question is the area is equal to three minus two root two, or in other words, 0.17157. I'm going to put units squared. So the exact value of the area of the red square is three minus two root two units squared. And the approximate area of this red square is 0.17157 units squared. How exciting.